get ready with me to go to a party while I tell you about things that my ex did to me. Today's a good brow day, so I know my makeup is finna come out cute. Okay, so starting off strong, um, in October, we had gotten into an argument. Mind you, it took this girl six months to ask me to be her girlfriend. Yes, I was in a six months talking stage. Okay. So, after the second month, I should have been done, but no, I was being stupid, so... Anyway, so starting off strong, we got into an argument. Mind you, we started talking in June. Um, June of 2022. And we got into an argument in October of 2022. Mind you, I'm still not a girlfriend. Anyways, we got into an argument. And um, we were not talking at the moment. And so I went on her following. Something told me. Actually, I could tell you. So you know how on TikTok you can have your profile views on? Her ex was in my profile views. And I was like, that's weird. Like, because this girl has never been in my profile views before, which that's fine. I have no animosity with the ex because she's not my problem. You feel me? So her ex was in my profile views. And I was like, um, okay. So something told me to go look at who she was following. And of course, she was following her ex back again. So I was sad. Okay. Like, it, oh, sorry, I can't cut. Not even, like, sad. Like, at first, I was shocked. I'm like, oh, wow, like, this girl really played me. Like, I got played. Oh, my God. But then it turned into sadness. So, we hadn't been talking literally only for a couple days. But I ended up texting her the night that I saw she was. And I saw that she was following her ex at work, y'all. So, I was trying to hold it in. I get home, and I was crying and stuff. So, yeah, I texted her that night and i was like oh can i ask you something and she was like yeah and i was like were you still talking to your ex the whole time or something like not being very direct but i was just wondering and i was like oh because i peeped y'all follow each other and she was like let me tell y'all the bs answer that this that this girl gave me so my ex is a stud by the way okay and this girl told me that she followed her ex back because they were in the same basketball community and she didn't want any unnecessary beef her girlfriend, her ex-girlfriend is a grade above us in college in a different state. And you are still, and they didn't even go to the same, they, she transferred out of that, that high school. So I'm like, I, the math was not mathing at all. Okay. Long story short, uh, when we had gotten to our argument, she unfollowed me, right? So she, mind you, she wasn't following me, but she was following her ex. We got back on talking terms and this girl still was following her. And I was like, um... <laughs> no go to part two so yeah didn't get a part two because like there wasn't a part two but we kind of already know or maybe there was and i just didn't see it but we kind of already know how it ended you know and just so you know that wasn't me that wasn't my camera that wasn't like the delay that was on her side not on my side there was a delay and it, it seemed like it got worse you gradually got worse but friend, talking in the talking stage for six months, I mean, like, I feel like some people need to talk to people for six months because it's like all oh, the red flags are strong before we get that commitment. But two months in and y'all already arguing? Why am I arguing with a friend? <laughs> Why am I arguing? We friends. There's no reason to argue. There's no emotional attachment. There's nothing there. And the fact that she was your, her ex was on your profile view. Why was she viewing you? There was a reason. It had to be a reason for her to have to look you up. Why was she having to look you up? Look at your profile. I'm older in the game. I've been in the game a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. It sounded like you was in college. So, been there, done that. I was just like <laughs> putting two together. We're going to have to find clues out there. Like, it has to be a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Because it's just like, clearly she was still talking to her and was just like, Oh, no, we ain't serious. That's not my girlfriend. Or maybe she went to the ex like, oh, let me show you the girl I went on a date with or something or bragging just to get her back. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that either. But I'm glad you learned, friend. I'm, 
I'm sad that you had to find out at work because that's always the toughest, especially if you you deal with customers, you're in customer service and they have to hold that down, all that anger and those feelings and that pent up emotion and just go on by your day with uh, behind a smile, hide behind a smile and just be like, Carrie, I'm like, I'm just, I'm not in people's faces because you can't talk to them about because you don't want people in your business and you don't want it to be like, oh, this girl, always emotional about a girl or whatever. Like, I feel you on that. Sorry you had to cry about that. I'm sorry she wasted your time. Ciao. I've been hearing a lot about studs, honey. <laughs> so I'm hanging out at the nude beach with a couple of my gay friends. And on this specific day, there's not all that many people on the beach. Like it's the three of us. And then there's another guy that we know who's a little older that's sitting about 50 feet away. And then a few more people way down the beach. And something important to know about this specific nude beach is that it's like, it can be a little cruisy. Like, People don't hook up often, but it's known to happen. Another important thing to note is that this is not Black's Beach. This is a smaller local nude beach. So we like know all the guys that go there. If you see somebody walking up that you don't recognize, it's obvious. So I'm sitting down there with my gay friends. We're all chatting and it's about 5 p.m. It's getting to be evening time. And we see this guy around the corner walking up towards us. And this guy is fucking shredded. Like, dear God, did he have the most perfect beefcake body ever. So naturally, me and my gay friends are all talking about it, laughing, hoping that he comes and sits right next to us because he's so damn sexy. And he gets closer, he walks past us, and as he's walking past, I notice that he looks up and checks out the view. He goes and walks past the person next to us, and then kind of looks around, turns around, and comes and sits right between the older guy who's next to us and our little group. So he's laying there for a few minutes, soaking up the rays on his buns. And we're like a group of schoolgirls, like ogling over this guy. I can tell the other guy next to us is also looking at this guy, checking him out. I mean, honestly, it was hard to look away. The eye candy on this guy was like unreal. And we're all kind of joking about like, what's gonna happen? Like, is this guy here because he wants to hook up? Is he just checking out the nude beach for the first time? We should probably find out. But as we're saying all this, the older guy who was sitting next to us starts chatting to this guy. And they're really chatting for a while. Like, they're really hitting it off. So we're all kind of like, ah, fuck, he's into daddies. Like, we don't have a shot. And we're like, okay, I guess we'll just enjoy the view. But this guy is chatting to the other guy for a while longer. And then they kind of just stop chatting. So now they're back sitting on their own towels. And I'm kind of like, shit. Maybe we have a shot after all. So we're sitting there for a little bit and I decide that I'm gonna go check this guy out. So I tell my friends that I'm gonna go skip some rocks so that I can get a good view of this guy's tush. So it's literally what I did. I went down and was skipping rocks, which I'm really fucking good at skipping rocks actually. And I walk back to this guy and I look up and I have an amazing view of his tush. It was honestly fucking beautiful. And I walk up the beach a little bit and then I'm walking back and on my way back, this guy makes eye contact with me. So I go up to him and start chatting. And I'm like, hey, like, have you ever been to this beach before? What's up? My name's Tommy. He said that no, he hadn't. It was his first time and he introduced himself. And then I invited him to come sit with me and my friends. And I ran out of time, so follow for part two. So y'all know I ain't get part two. And I do this on purpose, so y'all have to go follow them. Go follow them to see part two. I already know how part two is because, you know, if you see people on my videos often, I follow them in real life, so. <laughs> You should go follow them too so you could go see part two stay interested honey but yeah friend um i am that friend i'll just go up to somebody if we all over here mouths to the ground drooling i'm going to go talk to this person i'm going to shoot my shot i'm going to bring them back to the group even if like and that's why i'm the wingman because even my friend likes somebody i'll be like oh okay well let me go on to them and talk to them and bring them over to you and after i bring them to you you better be ready because <laughs> I my work is done. My work is done. I'm just going to sit back. Just going to sit back and watch the work. Just watch it. Watch me work. Ah, ah, ah. So yeah, yes, friend. New beaches. I have never been to a nude beach, but I have wanted to. And then I also thought about nude beach. Me being naked on a beach. A beach, bitch. Beach. Sand. And crevices. I already be finding sand in places that shouldn't be there with clothes on. So imagine trying to get sand out of those places and other places in your bareness. <laughs> like you was on the beach bare. 
and trying to find sand. We'll be able to find sand for weeks. It's already a week. It'd be days after. It'd be like, there's sand right there. Where that sand come from? Chunks of sand follow. Like, I couldn't even imagine. And then seeing other people. Like, you imagine seeing the people you see on the beach nowadays when you go to the beach. Now, we all know. We all have that mental image. Now, imagine them without clothes. Don't really want to be on that beach. <laughs> Unless, you know, it's like a young people beach. You know what I'm saying? I kind of seeing older people. He was like the older man beside us. Mm, don't want to see him naked. No, no. I'm good off that. So, yeah. But, no. You want to hear part two? Go follow him. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to thank you for him. Okay. A glimpse of the first time I tasted the... No, I'm fine. Mm-hmm. I'm fine. <laughs> it's just a, a tad tangy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, it's great. It's just... It's kind of spicy, you know? Kind of hits the back of your throat. <laughs> Woo! Didn't expect that. <laughs> huh? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> Fred, who kitty was you tasting that tasted like that, honey? Because I've been eating kitty all my life. That Chinese food kitty, that Chinese chicken. Ooh, y'all know that's kidding. Y'all know that's kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't, don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. That's real chicken. That's real chicken. But who kitty was you eating and it was tangy? What kitty was you eating? You was making that face and you stayed down there eating. No. That kitty has spoiled. It wasn't even, it wasn't right. It wasn't right. That kitty wasn't right. You just know when something's not right. That wasn't right, honey. You shouldn't have made that face. Like, no. No. Mm -mm, don't recommend. <laughs> Why are we lying to people now? Why are we lying? Because ain't no way I'll be down there and it ain't good. I've never been that person, even as a child. If it did not taste good, you would know that it did not taste good. Ooh. Always go to other people's house. And they be trying to feed me food. Like, oh, I did that. It was so good. This is amazing. And I'd be like, ooh. In my head, I'd be dreading. I'd be dreading to try it. And my mom, in her head, she'd be like, mm, she ain't going to eat none of that. She'd be trying to warn people because I had no filter. I was telling you the truth with my face. Because I can't hide what I'm thinking with my face. I Sometimes I can. But when it's passionate, it's like, nope. You know exactly what I'm going through. Everything I'm thinking is on my face. I can't hide it. So they'd be like, try this. I eat it and be like, mm. <laughs> just be like, sitting over there, face all screwed up. Did you like it? <laughs> no. Mom would be like, <laughs> Mom just be like, if you can't say that, they don't say nothing at all. So I would just be like, but soon my mom look. <laughs> no more they be like you like it so much you can take it home <laughs> but no ain't no way i'm gonna not tell you the truth about something i'm not gonna say hey this tastes good if it does not taste good i am the type of person that i would just not say anything at all and not ever eat anything else you ever make ever again in my life <laughs> you will be offended by me not saying anything because i would never they'd be like i thought you said you was hungry girl it was a miracle. Like, all of a sudden, I'm full. Maybe it was a burp. Maybe I was just thirsty. Like, that's what I was. I was just dehydrated. I don't want none. Like, you're good. You can have that all to yourself. I am I'm good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. So, that's why I just don't say anything. I ain't trying to lie. <laughs> I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. We're just not going to say anything at all. We good. We're going to keep it moving. But that's wow. Wow, friend. A 10 out of 10? Really? With that face? Mm, okay. I'm gonna take your word for it. Talk about it. It's a little tangy. <laughs> Imagine if somebody says that about your kid. Oh, it's a little tangy. Got a little bite to it. <laughs> it ain't no munch. It ain't no. <laughs> it's <laughs> things popping out. <laughs> that would be wild. Mm, how your personal hygiene <laughs> got a little toying what's that personal hygiene doing i'm talking to somebody out there 
just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. We're all adults and I hope you know how to do what you need to do. Clean, pull them flaps apart. You know you got to get between those lips, get on the side, the crevices, get to where that little pouch right there between the, those holes. Get in between that. You need to just, on the side, you know, you know. I don't, I don't need to teach y'all. Y'all know what you're doing. You know what you're doing, I hope. 